what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be having a recap of nairobi's trip and you know going through the whole traveling there being there and coming back to finland so right now i'm in finland of course and it's snowing a lot it's snowing it's dark so i really wish i was in nairobi maybe like a couple of weeks longer or something usually it's sunny when it's really frosty like this so it gets really sunny because it's cold as hell and uh, yeah that's why we're having a big sun right now and the weather is cold 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 but look at this look at this look at the lake yeah but the sun is hitting well so i like it a lot but it is what it is i'm in finland now yeah so let's begin it took me about four hours to fly from helsinki to istanbul then i had like uh, three hours layover and it took me another six and a half or seven hours to fly to Nairobi so it was like all together like 13 hours the whole trip and when I got down there the first thing I did is I went to the Safaricom booth and I got me uh, the SIM card and some data on it as well so I got me an 8 gigabytes data, so it cost around 1,000 shillings. So that's about in dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, and uh, and yeah, and also I also activated my M-Pesa account as well, but I had difficulties with M-Pesa, so M-Pesa was like so difficult to understand. I mean, Kenyans say that it's easy, but for me, I was like, how does it work? How do I top up my account? So uh, I end up not using M-Pesa the whole trip. So I, I tried to ask help, but I didn't understand it. So I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't want my money just to get lost. You know, insert the wrong number and send it to another person's account. So after that, I took the cab. I went to my hotel. So I arrived, arrived about 5, 6 a.m. to my hotel. Right away, I took a three hour nap. When I woke up, I just looked out of my balcony. I was like, wow, the view was really beautiful. The view was really nice. And uh, I was there for a while, enjoyed the weather, went out, got some, uh, got some snacks from the store. And what I have here is uh, Madanzi, Mandazi. And let's taste it. <laughs> the weather was really good. Uh, it was about 25, 26, sunny most of the time. But then there, there were also those moments that it just rained a lot. But the forecast keeps all telling me that the weather is cloudy, it's going to rain, it's going to rain. But no, most of the time it was sunny, so I was happy about it. And I also visited a couple of places like Giraffe Center, Bomas of Kenya. <laughs> about to feed the giraffes yes I'm a bit nervous not really no, I'm not. <laughs> it's scared of animals. Yeah. we're here at the giraffe center the giraffes. it's gonna be they're friendly good time yes. I'm, a pump. Yep. I'm scared <laughs> sure. Ladies first. Uh, nah, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I uh, so I just wanted to say I'm a gentleman, so I'll let her do it first. Go ahead. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay, you're not scared. Go. Hello. <laughs> 
And uh, I also wanted to do hiking, but it was impossible because the weather was unstable. One moment it was sunny and then one moment it was rainy, so I couldn't really do that. Look at the rain. Look at the rain. This is a heavy rain. The clouds, everything. Wow. But it looks nice, even though it's raining a lot. But definitely I won't be going out for a while because I don't want to get wet. But maybe next time I'll try to do, you know, the hiking stuff and everything. But this time I couldn't. Nairobi is safe. Like majority of the time. That's my experience. But definitely there are like some things that I could say that aren't safe. For example, just crossing the road, you know, the cars drive really hard. And So she was telling me that it's safe to cross this road. <laughs> it's very safe. <laughs> look, look at you. It's very safe. Stuff like that. And even I even experienced the authentic Nairobi experience trying to cross the highway. I will never do that ever again. But you know, it, it was an experience. You want to get us killed? <laughs> you want to get us killed? Oh my days. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look, look, look at this car. It drove so hard. Damn, this guy wanna get us killed. And uh, and yeah, overall, there's like security in the mall. They do the security scan and security checks and scan. And there's like police in every single corner. So definitely I felt safe. <laughs> If there was something wrong, I could find a police like right beside me. So there wasn't any issue with that. The people were really nice. And the food, the food, I, I really enjoyed Kenyan food a lot. Yeah, so I tried Ugali. Ugali is one of their mainstream uh, food, like what they eat almost probably every day. Ugali, Nyamashoma with the kales. One of the things that I tried, and also I also tried um, chapati with the beef stew, and was was it uh, kachumbari? Kachumbari was also as well in it. So yeah, I really enjoyed it a lot. And then also I went to Mama Nilishe. We took a platter. There was like different type of stuff in it. There was chapati. And you know, meat, tilapia as well was there, chicken. It was mixture of everything. So I really liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. Yes. Make but sure you don't video, have any bones. For the video, no bones. I think so. Hopefully. I don't then, want to do that. <laughs> I'll just grab a little bit of that rice. Mm. What do you think? Mm -mm. I love Kenya. I love Kenya in Nairobi. Guys, when you come here, come to Mama Nilisha, try it out. It's really good. It's really, really good. I also got some souvenirs, and one of the souvenirs I'm wearing on. So, this t shirt, as you can see, it sits well on my arm. You know, makes my arm look big. And shout out to Kitukali. Kitukali. Uh, what did Kitukali mean? Something nice in Swahili. That's what I heard it means. And yeah, I got this shirt from there and I like it a lot. It fits me. I, I like to dress casual and also like, you know, have like polo shirt and stuff. And and then also I got some few bags. Few bags. Yeah. And also a few jackets as well this is from my brother yeah 
He said he likes something like this, so I got him something like this. And uh, I got myself this one. So it looks so good on me. Definitely, I'll be rocking it when uh, summer gets near. So uh, it's awesome. Yeah, and also I visited the nightlife, of course. You, you gotta go to the nightlife when you go to another country. And the nightlife was crazy. Like there was something going on always somewhere. <laughs> to the nightlife I went to a couple of different places and I didn't know that they you know usually they just continue the opening time till it gets like dry or something and if it's dry then then they're like yeah okay the party's over guys get out go but definitely Kenyans can party so if you love to party I definitely recommend that road so now we're at the end of the video so guys, thank you for watching my series and definitely I might come back and film a little bit of more of Kenya, maybe another city. Let's see, I don't know. But right now, this series is done and I'll see you at the next one. Peace!